I just want to talk to you about good news and bad news. So um, we have, um, we have a, a few stats that I'd like to share with you. Um, I'm going to start with the good news. The good news is that um, the growth, there's a strong growth in emerging markets, as we know, of about 5.7%. Uh, 5 5 in 2013, that's the prediction. Uh, U.S. will grow probably at 3%. Europe is lagging at 03 to 1.1%. Um, China pulled out about 680 million people out of, uh, of misery and poverty. So that's a very positive thing. So it has a ripple effect when a good economy gets going. They invest in Africa. It has all good positive things. There's about um, 2 billion people that have gained access to drinking water over uh, the last 21 years. That's very good as well. So we can't always talk about bad things. In 2000 to 2010, the mortality rates for TB and malaria fell by more than 25%. And that's very good as well. The United Nations have done big strife in in uh, in a lot of this uh, of, of these good news, and hopefully uh, will continue to do so. And with our our support, foundation support, summit support, and collaborations from all over the world, and good emerging countries with good growth, uh, is uh, primary uh, and very very important. We've had as well. Um, 6% uh, drop uh, from 2012 to 2000, from 2010 to 2012 in um, in net aid. So it's um, there's a lot of good things, but on the bad on the bad column, we have um, Europe at a level of unemployment of 12.1%, uh, and who knows what the real numbers are. Uh, we have 8% um, of the labor force that is out of work, so that's 16 million more than 2007. And we have a big one, a big bad news that you probably all know about, which is the CO2 acceleration emission today, 46% up since 1990. So where does that take us? Well, there's certain things that are very, very important, which is the creative aspect. And that's why we call this summit Blue Eye Creativity uh, uh, Summit. Um, Creativity is uh, what brings about um, uh, companies. If you innovate, you can um, build companies. I built one company, which is uh, Trader.com, um, where I had 400 magazines, and I sold it and created a second one. The challenges of, of, uh, of creating is that uh, it's, it's very difficult. There's a few things that happen. The first thing, you have to think about the idea. So you have to be in a state of mind where you can create something. And that's very difficult. It's not easy to create. And every day you have to create to keep very competitive. And, not, and knowing that your competition is not another company only. It's a robot. The robot is your competitor. And we can talk about that in a few seconds. But what's important is creativity, thinking about the product, motivating your teams to get there, and financing. On the financing side, and we'll have a discussion in a few minutes, it's, um, it's becoming very, very difficult. And I have a few, I have a few uh, numbers for you. On the venture capital side, there's been, um, there's been a drop. And, and I think that venture capital money is the first stage of, of uh, getting money to someone that has innovation. But the second stage is the bank. If the banks lend only to large size companies, that becomes a real big problem because really the ones that create the jobs are not the large companies. If banks lend to large companies that don't really need it, then, and they're not creating the jobs for the future, really we need to invest the money in small businesses. 64% of the job creation comes from small businesses. That's the only number that we have to remember. 64% comes from small businesses. And what does that mean? If they create jobs, people are not on the street. If they create jobs,
they have income in their pocket and they can give back to foundations or cultural institutions or to their schools and all that. So the heart, the heart, the most important component is to make sure that our education system is completely redeveloped to create creative minds that will then build small businesses that will be able to finance themselves to a good banking system that don't only lend to large companies. It's good to lend to big companies, it's essential, but it's not the heart of your product development. I would say that the heart of the product development in a company, you always look at your product development because that's your future. It's your almost your present, your future, and it goes very fast. So if you don't invest in, in that component of, of, um, of what is essential, then you'll have unemployment very high. Unemployment, for me, I see it at 40% if we don't do certain things. We're going to think that 20% is low. Remember when interest rates were even at 20% or 16%? Well, unemployment could go to 40% if we don't put certain measures. And there's not much to do. It's only one thing, creating jobs and creating the mind that is necessary to develop creative people. How do you actually develop creative minds? Can you bring a child? Is creativity innate or acquired? That's the first question. I believe there's part innate and there's part acquired. And how do you acquire it? Well, my eye today is very different from my eye 20 years ago. When I look at a painting, I don't look at it the same way. Is it better or worse? I think it's better. So why wasn't I taught that when I was 10 years old? So what do we have in us to develop? And what is essential to develop is our senses, our visual cortex is 28% of our neurons. Most people here don't know that. I learned it through our foundation, 28%. That means why don't we develop our eyes? Why don't we develop our senses? Why, if you all close your eyes for one second, do you start hearing more? Yes, and you'll touch more. So why, why do we have to wait until you're blind to start touching and feeling? Because that's what makes you sensitive to your environment to then create something and create products. How I create magazine, I've created probably 100 magazines in my life and 60 internet sites. How do I do it? I, I tap into my senses and I feel the markets and I feel the people and I feel what, what I could be developing tomorrow. And that's essential because again, when you develop a product, it creates jobs. Jobs creates a good uh, job is good for everything and happiness and social social rest and everything else. So that's the core. But what's going to happen? Why did I say that our unemployment is going to go from 20% to 40%? It's because the robots are going to do a lot. You're, the robots are our competitors. The robots, they, they, they're extraordinary. It's not only for productivity that we're going to use them. Robots are going to be doing a lot of the job. They don't talk back to you, and they're there, and they, they can do so much more than they're doing today. So what do we have? How do we differentiate ourselves from the robot? By being creative. So far, they don't have senses. We do. So therefore, the most important component is to develop our senses and develop our creativity in our children to be able to create small businesses in all the fields to compete. The growth, the poverty numbers that are going down, it's great because we have a lot of emerging countries that are appearing and growing at six, seven percent, and that's helping that element. But the most important is to have all countries growing. And at one point, this will happen, but to be competitive you need to be creative. So thank you for sharing with me these few moments and thank you for coming. We have uh, an interesting agenda for the next uh, few days that touches many, many things and many important issues. We're not here to talk about political parties. 
We're not here to favor Democrats or Republicans. We're here for the best interests of the country and countries. Because we have, as a community, we are a community of the world. We are not individuals. And the community of the world tells us that we have major things that are interconnected and that have to be solved. So thank you very much and enjoy yourself. Have a nice day.